Use the speaker tool to insert individual speakers that are not part of an array. Manually inserted speakers can be placed as single speakers or as several speakers arranged in a column. A variety of supports and labeling options are available. The speaker tool is found in the event design toolset. In this example and demonstration of settings, we will be using a generic speaker. If you are looking to use manufacturer-specific speakers in our libraries, please make sure to see the Speaker Libraries video. These speakers will be available for import through the Type dropdown. Similar to other tools, we have different insertion options found in the toolbar to choose if you want to insert the speaker into walls or based on the left, right, center, or offset point. When first placing a speaker into the drawing, we will be prompted with the Objects Properties dialog. I'm going to click OK on this dialog, as the same settings can be adjusted through the Object Info palette. If we are selecting a specific speaker, a lot of these fields will be filled in automatically. Brand and model are for reporting and labeling purposes. We are able to pull this data into worksheets and reports on the speakers. Front width, front height, back width, back height, and depth are all used to adjust the size of the speaker object. If the option for ceiling speaker is checked, the options for grill diameter, cutout diameter, and height will become available instead to adjust the size. Flip orientation is used to flip the speaker 90 degrees from the standing position to a laying down position, or vice versa. Tilt reference is used for directional purposes when the speaker is used with the speaker array tool, which will be covered in a later video. Self-powered indicates whether the speaker uses an internal or external amplifier. The next three wattage settings relate to the minimum wattage required for the speaker, the average wattage used by the speaker, and the maximum wattage used by the speaker. The next group of settings involves the dispersion. In order to see these adjustments, we will go towards the bottom of the settings and turn on Show Dispersion Range 1. In the Dispersion Range 1 options, we can adjust the horizontal dispersion and vertical dispersion values, along with the throw range. In the case of asymmetric values, we can check the option for asymmetric horizontal dispersions. In the case that we need multiple dispersion ranges, we can choose to expand dispersion features to get options for ranges 2 and 3. Show Dispersion Hatch displays a hatch in the range in a top plan view. Save Type to Library saves the current speaker configuration as a new speaker type. Enter the name of the speaker type. This custom speaker can be selected from the type list. Delete Type from Library removes the speaker currently selected in type from the library file. The current parameters remain as set, but the type becomes generic. Listening Height sets the listening height reference for the dispersion lines. Listening height must be less than the speaker's elevation, or Z value. Support allows us to select the support method for the speaker. The options are for reference only, except for tripod, which creates a tripod floor stand. Ground stacked, which allows the speakers in an array to be ground stacked rather than flown, and yoked, which creates a yoke and clamp for the speaker to be hung. Actual tilt angle will tilt the speaker in the specified direction. This value can be set anywhere between 90 and negative 90. Location, purpose, rack, driveline, column ID, and notes are fields used to add additional information to the speaker. This can be used for labeling options or reporting purposes. Text options allows us to choose which values we want to display on the speaker in the design layer. Only fields with data entered will be available here. Classes allow for specific prefixes or classes to be applied to the speakers and their parts. For most changes to the speakers, we should see the changes right away. However, for specific changes such as to the classes, we will need to use the Update button here to push the changes to the selected speakers. The final section for load information is used for Braceworks calculations.